All right, this is a video on how to use the WT588D-U uh, sound chip and how to put sound files on there. So I found a great uh, tutorial on Instructables that, that works really well, but um, I'm a fan of videos over the text because it's a little easier to kind of see step by step what you're doing. Um, but I'm gonna, so I'm gonna go through uh, what you need to do uh, in a video. You need to download this Audacity uh, program and then also the software uh, right here. Um, you're gonna need an, an RAR, um, basically uh, uncompressor. So I got uh, Unzip RAR uh, is the one that I got. It's pretty easy to use. Um, you could get WinZip or whatever, but this one was was free, and so I used it. Uh, so once you download download those two, um, you're gonna have basically this WT588D folder that's zipped, and um, you'll get an Audacity uh, file as well. So you want to install both of those. If you go into the WT588D programmer, you'll actually have to unzip this uh, this RA folder and then here's the actual application file that you can use to install it. So um, I now have an Audacity um, set up there and then my um, Waytronic is the five or the WT588D programmer. So those are the two that you're going to need. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close uh, both those down so you can kind of see from the beginning. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and download, or I'm going to open up um, Audacity here, and I'm going to open up um, a sound font that I downloaded. So I just did a Google search for lightsaber sound fonts and found a bunch of free ones, um, and I can show you what those look like. Basically, there are these here. So if you look up Obsidian sound font or Old Republic Jedi sound font, these are all free and I just um, if you right click on it and do an extract all it'll open up this WinZip file there's a couple of RAR files so again those you can use that RAR unzipper uh, that you used for uh, the WT588D um, and do that but I went ahead and did this uh, Luke Skywalker Empire Strikes Back version and then it opens up all these LSU files, which are uh, sound files for this Obsidian board, I believe, or chip. And we don't want that. We want uh, to make these WAV files. So I'm, I'm in this Audacity here, and I'm going to go ahead and open, or import rather, the raw data. And here I'm going to just pull in this blaster block file. And you can just click on import. And if you notice, it pegs out quite a bit right here. And if you run it, that's pretty loud. Um, so it's peaking too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Effect and go to Normalize. And we're going to normalize this to a negative 3 decibel level so that it brings it back so that it's not peaking out. I'm going to click on OK. And now when I play it, again, it peaks out at negative 3, but I might even want to do that. I'm going to go to negative 5. Um, that's what I've been doing, negative 5. But again, if you want to try negative 3, try it. That's what they recommend. But that sounds pretty good to me. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hum file at the end of this. So once it does the, the two blaster files and the, the strikes, I'm going to actually hum at the end of this. So I'm going to go ahead and um, open up my, I'm actually going to resample this. Uh, so I'm going to go into Sorry about this. This is kind of resample right here under tracks. 
we're going to resample this at 22,000 uh, hertz. And again, it shouldn't change anything. It's not going to notice much. And then I'm going to go ahead and import another data. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in the hum file. And it should bring it up here. Import that. And now this is basically a 20 second hum. Um, and again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to effect, I'm going to normalize, I'm going to make it ne negative 5 decibels. So again, so that I'm going to mute this one so you can hear the hum. So this is just a general hum. do is I'm going to add this hum file to the back of this one. So I'm going to do a select all of this. Select that. Select all of this. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to paste it right into here. So now we should be able to. I'm going to mute this one. So if we stop and we play it, we go back to the beginning here. It goes right into a hum. So that's perfect. It goes right into our hum um, and then keeps going for 20 seconds. So when I push the button, or, you know, it'll do a couple blaster fires and then it will do the counters for those and then it'll just go right back into its hum, waiting for another input to happen. So I'm done with this file. So I'm going to again close that out. And at this point, I want to export this, but I need to change my sampling rate down here to 22,000. And that's critical. Um, when I export. And you can zoom in if you want. To make sure that there's no there's no gap in there. And this should be good. Yep. Um, and now I'm going to export. So I'm going to go to File. Export audio. I've got my blaster blaster block. Um, I'm gonna. This is in kind of a different location. Uh, these are all my modified versions, and these are just tests that I tried to do and they didn't work. But um, this is gonna be blaster block. We're gonna save that. And just click on OK. And now we're gonna open up that uh, programmer, the Waytronics and open up this. And now I have my board hooked up. I'll kind of show you that setup. It's pretty straightforward. I went with the schematic that's on um, on here. If you look, if you scroll down, you'll see a schematic on how to connect it. So it's pretty straightforward. I don't actually have anything for the reset right now. Um, but you'll see that I've got, again, the USB is the top, so I've got a ground here, and then I have a little push button switch that's connected to this pin and to ground, and it has a pull-up resistor internally on that, so when it goes to ground, it knows that it's switched. Um, I then also have my VCC going into this port, and then I have an LED uh, that's going from my VCC through a resistor and then into the port underneath, and this tells me when um, my chip is being uh, utilized. And again, if you look at the document here, you can kind of see that. That here's your, your busy LED. I've got just a push button switch connected to ground and then pin 19. I have my speaker connected to pins 9 and 10, ground pin 14 over here. Um, so pretty straightforward. And then you can also use 
pin 18, 17, 16 for different sound files, which I actually have already set up. Um, and I'm actually going to put this one on pin 17 um, for this. So we're going to go back into the programmer. And we want to go to this tab and click on English. So that way we can read it. And now we want to load. So I'm right clicking. I can click on load now. And I want to load those sound files in here. So I'm going to do my blaster block. I'm going to start a new project apparently. For some reason, like it doesn't like some of the it won't let some certain keystrokes come through for some reason. It's really weird. Okay, like I'm pushing P E S T S O U N D, so it's not letting S or E come through, which is just odd. So I'm just going to call it one two. Click on load. I'm going to find my blaster block file. And there's your sampling rate, 22,000 hertz, 16-bit mono. It's 22 seconds long. And then we're going to put it onto this right here. So there are different sound files. You can load um, quite a few sound files onto each of these to be triggered. So I'm going to double click, and that's going to shove it into this spot. So my 00, zero switch, um, these are hexadecimal numbers. Um, it's going to play this blaster block value. I click on compile and it's going to sit and it's going to compile this. So it's going to use about 10% of my flash. So I can essentially get 10 sound files on here at this sampling rate. doing its thing. I'm going to pause the video and then come back once it's done. Okay, so now it's done and it said that the file is saved, so I'm going to click on OK. Let me go into my options, and right now it's in key mode. Um, again, I'm going to probably end up going to three-line mode, which I haven't done enough research to get to there, but I think that's where I'm eventually going to go when I hook it up to my Arduino. But right now it's just a key mode, so I can trigger it with an external, with that switch. Um, the output is pulse width modulation, and it's got to pull up high resistor on those ports. Um, busy mode is low. Um, it drives that low, that pin. And then we're going to say OK. We're going to then click on Download. Uh, my capacity, I have a 32 meg uh, chip, and then I'm going to click on connect. And you can see the bin path that's in that 12 uh, is what I called it, so it's in that folder. And it connected, so I'm going to hit one key download. It's going to erase what's on the sound card, and then it's going to re-download it. And again, this doesn't take very long. Okay, so now we're set. So I'm going to go back over to here. And I just have an external little battery pack, a three AAA or three AA battery pack here. Um, I can actually unplug the USB okay. port now and turn this on. And now I should get, when I push the button, I just have a little speaker hooked up here with a can. Um, it should, I turned it off, turn on, and it should go into the hum. And if I push it again, it'll do it again. There you 
go.